The 2025 Trident II D5 stands as one of the most advanced and powerful submarine launch ballistic missiles SLBMs, in the world, forming a vital cornerstone of the United States' strategic nuclear deterrent. Designed for precision, range, and reliability, this three-stage, solid-fueled missile has evolved over decades to maintain dominance in undersea-based nuclear capabilities. First deployed in 1990, the Trident II has undergone numerous upgrades in guidance, propulsion, and re-entry systems, with the 2025 configuration incorporating state-of-the-art navigation, hardened electronics, and enhanced multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicle MERV, technology to counter emerging threats. It is deployed aboard the Ohio-class ballistic missile submarines in the U.S. Navy and the Vanguard-class submarines of the Royal Navy, providing both nations with a secure second strike capability. The missile's design reflects a blend of precision engineering and robust survivability. Its overall length measures approximately 44 feet 13.41 meters, with a body diameter of about 83 inches 2.11 meters, and it weighs roughly 130,000 pounds at launch. The 2025 variant retains its maximum operational range of over 7,500 miles 12,000 kilometers, but features improved inertial navigation systems integrated with stellar navigation and GPS augmentation, ensuring a circular error probable set of less than 90 meters. This high accuracy enables both counter-value and counter-force missions with minimal collateral damage risk. The propulsion system consists of three solid-fuel rocket stages, each optimized for reliability and performance under extreme conditions. The first stage uses a graphite epoxy motor case and a nozzle equipped with an electromechanical actuating system to control thrust vectoring. The second stage continues acceleration with improved insulation and propellant chemistry designed to enhance energy density. The third stage contains a post-boost vehicle PBV, equipped with a liquid fuel propulsion module, which precisely positions the re-entry vehicles for deployment. This PBV stage plays a critical role in MERV targeting, allowing the missile to release multiple warheads on separate trajectories toward different targets. The warhead section is one of the most crucial and classified parts of the Trident II D5. It can carry up to 14 independently targetable W761 thermonuclear warheads, each with a yield of about 100 kilotons, or the newer W88 warheads with yields up to 475 kilotons. However, in compliance with arms control agreements, operational loadouts are usually fewer than the maximum capacity. In the 2025 configuration, the re-entry vehicles feature advanced stealth shaping, radar absorbent materials, and upgraded heat shielding for re-entry survivability against modern missile defense systems. The aeroshells are designed to withstand temperatures exceeding 7,000 degrees Fahrenheit 3,871 degrees Celsius during atmospheric re-entry, while their precise guidance packages ensure pinpoint accuracy even in heavily defended airspace. Guidance and navigation remain at the heart of the Trident II's effectiveness. The missile employs an advanced inertial guidance system paired with celestial navigation corrections via star trackers and, in modernized versions, encrypted GPS inputs for additional accuracy. The guidance computer is radiation-hardened and capable of operating in the intense electromagnetic environment following a nuclear detonation. The 2025 update includes artificial intelligence-assisted error correction algorithms that reduce drift and improve targeting precision, making it one of the most accurate strategic missiles in history. Launch procedures for the Trident II involve a complex sequence of events. The missile is ejected from the submarine's launch tube using high-pressure steam generated by a gas generator, which pushes the missile clear of the water before the first stage motor ignites. This cold launch technique reduces stress on the submarine and allows for launches while submerged, making detection by adversaries exceedingly difficult. Once airborne, each stage ignites in sequence, with stage separation occurring through explosive bolts and thrust termination ports. The missile's high velocity and lofted trajectory make interception extremely challenging, and the MERV deployment allows it to saturate defenses by approaching from multiple vectors. The missile's electronic subsystems have been modernized for the 2025 edition to resist cyber intrusions in electronic warfare. Secure communication links between the submarine's fire control system and the missile ensure launch orders are authenticated through the Permissive Action Link PAL, system, preventing unauthorized launches. The internal wiring uses shielded fiber optic channels to protect against electromagnetic pulse EMP, effects, and redundant systems ensure that even partial damage will not prevent mission completion. The Trident II D5 also incorporates a sophisticated re-entry vehicle bus system, which allows for flexible targeting options. 
In a counterforce role, warheads can be programmed to strike hardened military facilities such as missile silos or command centers. In a counter-value role, they can target large urban or industrial centers. The missile's high throw weight enables the combination of different warhead types or penetration aids, such as decoys and chaff, to confuse missile defense systems. Maintenance and reliability are central to its design philosophy. The missile undergoes regular test launches from submerged submarines at ranges such as the Eastern Test Range near Cape Canaveral. These tests verify the readiness of both the missile and the submarine's launch systems, with the Trident II boasting an exceptional test success rate exceeding 160 consecutive successful launches. The 2025 program also focuses on extending the missile service life into the 2040s through the D-5 Life Extension Program, D-5LE, which replaces aging components with modern equivalents while maintaining the proven overall architecture. Internationally, the Trident II remains a strategic bargaining tool as well as a deterrent. Its presence in the oceans ensures that even in the event of a surprise attack on land-based forces, a retaliatory strike can still be delivered with devastating effect. This survivability is the foundation of the United States and the United Kingdom's nuclear deterrence posture. By keeping the missile aboard stealthy nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarines SSBNs, adversaries face the nearly impossible challenge of neutralizing the deterrent force preemptively. From a strategic perspective, the 2025 Trident II D5 represents the culmination of decades of research, development, and operational experience in the field of submarine-launched ballistic missiles. Its combination of range, payload, accuracy, and survivability make it not only a powerful weapon but also a key element in maintaining global strategic stability. Every component, from its composite motor cases and heat-shielded re-entry vehicles to its hardened guidance electronics and stealth deployment methods, has been refined to function flawlessly in the most hostile conditions imaginable. The missile embodies the principle of assured second strike capability, deterring potential adversaries from contemplating nuclear aggression by guaranteeing a swift and certain retaliatory response. The Trident II D5 in 2025 is more than just a missile, it is a system of systems that integrates advanced engineering, precision navigation, nuclear physics, and stealth technology into a single, formidable weapon. Its quiet presence beneath the ocean surface is a reminder that technological superiority and strategic foresight remain critical to national security. Whether viewed as a symbol of deterrence or as a last resort instrument of war, the Trident II continues to stand at the pinnacle of SLBM design, ensuring that for the foreseeable future, the balance of power at sea remains firmly in the hands of those who wield it.